Now, this is based on a true story, I believe. But vaguely, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, so, what was it then that attracted you to the story most of all? Well, on the one hand, it's 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 a combination of death wish and falling down and, and all that. It's sort of a man who's persecuted and ends up killing the persecutors in a very bloody way. Um, I suppose what attracted me to it was the fact that the psychological aspect of it. His father was in the war and he lost it and killed a lot of Germans in a crazy kind of way. And what happens to him is the same sort of thing. And it's about the dark side of each of us that for most of us doesn't come out. But for some of us, when that trigger gets pushed, you go into that dark side. Also, there's a very subtle thing about the film which I really liked. It's a kind of vampiric quality. He's kind of a retired, beat up American teacher. And the more he kills these horrible people, the younger he feels. And I love that. I love that. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think, what was the John Thor, um, the Provence? Oh, yeah, is yeah, it, yeah. It's it sort of a bit like that, but the horror version. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's sort of, yeah. And also because it's really shocking because a lot of these te are your very young teenagers. So, you know, killing young teenagers is, is all a bit, is a bit shocking, I guess. For you, where do you go to as an actor then to kind of draw on those sort of darker sides of what's required for you to, to come out? I remember having a discussion with John, the writer director, and saying that true violence, certainly as I have experienced it, and I've recognised that in myself, because I grew up in quite a rough area of South London, is that you don't get hysterical, people get hysterical and shouting. You go, I've experienced, you go very ice cold, and I'm very, very. Uh, calculated and cool, which is a very scary place to be. So when you understand where those areas are, then I understood exactly what happens to this guy in the film. I could uh, I could appreciate that. Is it kind of moral story as well about the, the the kind of youth of today and having respect for their elders? Is is there a kind of message in there as well? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think you know, uh, as controversial as it will be, because they are young teenagers, I'm sure. You know, in any city, in any place, you've got young people who, let's say, we're saying that young people can be horrible, can be psychopaths as well as older people. It's not we don't. And that ha what happens when that is uncontrolled, what happens when that is uh, protected, as they are by the police, where you don't have an outlet, you can't go to the authorities, um, is a very interesting place to go and quite a controversial place to go, yeah. All that conflict, fantastic for an actor. Yeah, it's nuts. I ended up. Uh, directing most of the fights on it as well. So, but I, I have to say the the young French guys and girls who who played it, who weren't experienced actors, they were absolutely fantastic and great fun. I imagine when you read this script, you couldn't put it down, could you? I couldn't put it down. I thought it was a really good script, and my biggest concern, as you can well imagine, because I I I didn't envision it. Um, I didn't envision, envision the totality of it was how can I kill someone? How, how can I justify that? How can I play a character who gets driven to that? And um, so it made my decision um, thoughtful. Because that I imagine, you know, the motivation of your character completely shifts from the beginning of the film, you know, to the end. And this whole exploration of survival of the fittest, isn't it? You know, it's kill or be killed. Yes, it is. I, I think that it would not be amiss to uh, liken it to straw dogs in a certain kind of way where you have uh, a couple that wants to live in peace in their environment and because of the outside environment are forced to make other decisions, decisions in order to literally stay alive. Was it interesting as well because this is sat in the very picturesque, you know, French countryside as opposed to, you know, a lot of like the kind of horrible East End gritty. Um, sorry, sorry, I don't mean to sound offensive to the East End, but you know what I mean? In, in, a, in a gritty place, you would expect potentially nasty things to happen. But in tranquility, it almost makes it more sinister because it's happening somewhere so beautiful. I agree with you. I agree that the beauty of the place makes it hard to fathom that it could actually happen because there's so much for everyone to have. There's space, there's beauty, there's food. Um, and when you think about there being a lack, there just isn't a lack. Um, so it, it, I think, makes it ever so much more brutal.
much uh, much more horrific. And is it interesting as well because obviously a lot of acting is reacting. So. The, the relationship between a husband and wife completely changes as well. So it's not just your personal journey with this character, it's actually the journey of, of your, your the husband that, that, that's playing against you. Yes, yes. It's a very hard thing to come to terms with what he thinks must be done. And I think that, I mean, I haven't seen the film yet, so I don't know. But I'm hoping that at the end there's a slight ambiguity. I'm, I don't know if there is, but um, I know that they're bound to each other for all time because of what they've done, but I don't know how. Yeah. And, and working on the film, was there anything specific that you took away with you from working on it? Oh, yes, that um, the amazing thing, having been an actor for a long time and having taught and produced and written is that because of the new technology, you realize that anyone can make a film, anyone. But not everyone should make films. <laughs> not everyone knows how to tell a good story, do they? No, but John does, and, he, and his brother Howard does. And I would, I would walk to the end of London or beyond to work with either of them because they understand story. Offensive, my goodness. Yes. Tell us a little more about uh, essentially, it's uh, just to summarise the story, it's about a retired couple who move to the south of France and are targeted by a gang of uh, cruel street kids who are essentially plugged into the uh, modern devices, as all kids are these days. And it's sort of a, a exploring what happens when uh, there are scientific studies that say that de modern devices, you know, the electronic devices erode empathy in young minds. I just took that to the extreme and, and toyed with what would happen when that gets out of hand and revenge is taken, there's an explosive clash between the generations. So that's essentially in a nutshell. And I'm thinking as well, you know, in use, recent years, we've seen that the, um, gosh, when the kids ran riot in, in, in London, you know, there's kind of elements of that as well, watching that and seeing, you know, the kind of lack of respect that the kids yes. have. Absolutely, and it, it, it is very much that. It's because uh, I know there's a modern school of parenting thought that says uh, not to limit children, to give them no limits at all, not to frustrate them. And in a way, this is sort of exploring what may happen or what may be the consequences if you let that go too far. So, yeah. And you've got two seasoned actors as well. Um, what was it like directing them? Because obviously they were having to do things that, you know, as human beings, makes you feel very uncomfortable. Yeah, actually, that's a very good point because uh, Lisa Acorn, fantastic actress, and Russell Floyd, who was also amazing. Uh, I, I, yes, I was worried when they read the script what they would think of it because it's quite a violent script. Uh, but they were absolutely full on for it, and uh, and they had no problem with it because they saw the serious subtext to the story, and they were very much into uh, completing that. So uh, yeah, they had no problems there. Much to my delight. Yeah. And shooting in France, what, what was that logistically? Was that helpful? What was that like? Yeah, absolutely the best shoot I've ever had in my entire life. I mean, having shot the Dead One in Africa and the Dead Two in India, hell on earth. Lovely places, but hell on earth to make a film in. So shooting in the south of France was an absolute dream. The first film I've ever enjoyed making, so I would love to do it again. Yeah, really, really nice. The, all the French uh, uh, crew who worked on it and cast also were brilliant and they loved it. I thought I may get beaten up for making it like an anti-French movie or something, but it's not an anti-French movie. It was going to be set in England, but no, they loved it. They got into it and, and, and yeah, we've made something quite unique, quite special. It's an old school movie. In, in the way it plays out, but with a, with a modern undercurrent. Yeah. So there is, am I, am I right in saying it's loosely based on fact? Yes, yes, actually it's, uh, it's funny, I haven't even mentioned that aspect. It's, it's very much so, it's, uh, it is based on true events. I mean, down to the point where some of the dialogue is actually from these true events. I mean, it's very, a lot of the scenes, most of the scenes are, are a fact, and uh, truth being stranger than fiction, um, it gives the film a, a sort of a, a, a strange feel, but a sort of an authenticity at the same time, because you can't fake that stuff. So I'm interested to see how that will be taken, yeah. You look far too angelic to play a, 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 a hoodie that's causing a lot of trouble. 
yeah, well, it was a lot of work in the beginning, but then it was really fun to play someone that was so different from me. <laughs> you read the script. What, what, you know, what were your initial thoughts? I thought, wow, that's crazy. I hope they don't see us like that <laughs> in the south of France because I'm from the south of France. <laughs> I thought I would never do that with my friends, but okay. <laughs> For you to, I mean, I know this takes it to the extremities, but how technology, you know, r rules that youth culture and, and that yeah. these days. Well, it's interesting because uh, technology, it's supposed to make us communicate more, but I think it splits a little bit, especially the generations, the old generations, young generations. It's really so. Yeah, I think it's interesting, and this part in the movie is really. Is it that also interests you that kind of the study of a, a, a generation or two generations more than the, than you compared to what the, the culture that you have today? So did it interest you that like the respect for the elders that maybe the youth culture don't have in the same way as we did probably 20, 30 yeah. years ago? Well, for me, it was really fiction because I think people, well, I hope people still have some respect for their elders, but I do, I know I do. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it was purely fiction for me. I didn't really think it would be possible uh, to see that in real life. <laughs> Relationship with it with the other guys in the gang. What? How did you build that relationship? Well, it was really fun because they all knew each other. They were all part of the same theater group, and I was the the big sister. I was older than them, so yeah, I arrived there, and they were really, they were really nice to me, and uh, it was really fun. Yeah. Was it, was it fun, sort of exploring the darker side of human nature? I mean, to extreme. Yeah, at least mine. I I, <laughs> I really went deep into my dark side, <laughs> tried to find some anger and some uh, crazy stuff and it was really, yeah, it was interesting to find some weird stuff <laughs> to be able to spit at someone, for example. <laughs> what, what did you take away with, with you from make, making the film? Was it working on film for a change as opposed to being in theatre and the different disciplines that's required? I'm um, sorry? Because it's very different. You said you're from a theatre group, so was it very different for you working on camera compared to the theatre? They were. The, the, yeah. the other kids were from a theatre oh, group, but I, oh, you know, I was just, uh, there is an actress. I, I had been in movies before, okay. but it was my first feature film, oh, but yeah. Fantastic. So what did you take away with you from, from being on the film? Um, you mean physically? Yeah. Or just emotionally, what you know, was there something that you that you maybe enjoyed about it, or you you'd learned to take with you to to the next role? I enjoyed the anger. I enjoyed being able to get angry, and I think now in life I get angry more easily because I was scared to be like to show anger, and now I think it's easier <laughs> because <laughs> it could never be that <laughs> that terrible, <laughs> that extreme. Fred, when you read the script. Yes. What was it about it that you, that, that you liked about it? My f first impression, you mean? Um, my first impression with, uh, with the character, with my character, is a cop. And um, it, it's, uh, it's not the, the main character, but you have so many uh, faces uh, in, in the story. And... Uh, uh, it was really interesting to, to me, like like actor, to 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 have all all those little things to do. It's not just one one piece. I don't know if I explain myself well, but so uh, for the character is that, and then the the story uh, was really uh, different from the other story because there is no morality in inside. Uh, there is no good good character or bad character. So it's what what I, I first uh, liked of when I read the, the strips. Something from yourself that you wanted to bring to the part? Some, something of you? That, ah. Something from within that you yes, wanted always to... always you put something of you, but you have to... You have to inspire yourself of, of something. Yeah, it's, it's always you, but it's not you, because I'm, I'm not like, like that, that cop. It's a... It's a <laughs> It's a corrupt, corrupt cop, so uh, it's a character. But Fun to play. Yeah, with, with my emotions, or with, you, you have to, to imagine things. And when, when sometimes you, you, you not feel secure and how, how, how you have to do it, you have to, to throw. 
you, you, you have to, like uh, when you are in the, you know, in, in something, you have to, I don't know the word, you have to jump. Take that leap of faith. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So was it for you fun playing uh, um, a, somebody that was corrupt and bad? Was it, was it fun? Yes. Well, it, it's bad or, and not. He's it, in, uh, in, in, in his world. So, yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's a little bad, but he, he don't feel bad, him, himself. So the problem is when arrived somebody of, uh, outside the, the main character, the couple, they arrived in the in his country, in his village, and changed all his world. So he don't want to accept that. So, a very interesting part to play. Yeah, yeah, really, really.